the reason I'm making today's video, I'm using this Gulf of Oman map in the back. Um, Gulf of Oman is one of my favorite maps in Battlefield, and I see the reoccurring theme of not many people enjoy the map. And I've been paying attention to the chat, surprisingly, and um, <laughs> I think the one thing I noticed the most is the people don't enjoy the map because it sometimes can be one-sided, and the reason it can sometimes be one-sided is if one team has complete vehicle dominance, superiority, and it's just a battlefield strat that you can take it to the next level or you can play casually. And if you want to take it to the next level, I'm just going to let you know some things that are going on around the map. If you look at this map right here, you got the U.S. deployment on the carrier. you got the Russian deployment on the airstrip on the top of the map. And then you got objectives, what, A through G. And on every single map, there are power positions, whether it's A through G. For example, D has an LAV spawn, G has a main battle tank spawn, E has an LAV spawn, B has a main battle tank spawn, and this varies for every map. You'll just have to get to know the different spawns of each vehicles, but on different maps, say a scout helicopter, an attack helicopter is with certain points on the map. So this makes certain points more valuable than other points around the map, and if you go capture those points your team will probably have vehicle superiority in that game. And if you just want to take it to the next level, just focus on vehicle superiority. Just pay attention, focus, take it easy. No matter how slow or fast you get better, at the end of the fucking day, you're still getting better at the game. Engineer class is my favorite class. I've been playing this game for years, and it's still my favorite class. Because I'm always in the action. I'm fucking shooting tanks. I'm shooting helicopters, airplanes, all that. Go G, bro. There's a tank there. That's a battle tank spot. And when the game begins, you can literally start by saying, this is the power position. This is the position we want to go get because there's this vehicle there. Gulf of Oman, I'm using as an example because... We use great vehicle superiority oh, yeah. in this match. We've done it before, we'll do it again. And if you guys just understand what's going on, then you don't have to be so afraid and have to be in the infantry only servers. You, you can just, you know, get your feet wet. Come on in. Water's warm. All right, peace. LAV, get in it! It's important that we get these vehicle spawns. How you win, Oman?
Looks like they got a gunship up. A must be the gunship point. I think A is the AC-130 point. B is the main battle tank. Okay, those guys just got rolled. Oh, the boy get rolled over. LAV from D, so even if they capture that, I have the LAV there. It won't respawn unless I die. I mean, obviously no one wants to get the game to go as uncompetitive as this, but... We are also playing very well this team. I mean, the, the way we captured all the vehicle positions so quickly, and then just started rolling their team over, I mean, you can't do much about it. It's just compatibility. Never doubt the power of stray fronts, bro. Textbook. Jesus Christ, that would be it. Yes, sir. 